Before they can spawn, salmon in this Seattle creek are dying. Look at that. I mean, fit, gasping for air. Fish don't gasp for air. A vital cycle cut short. There's a high correlation in this pre-spawn mortality phenomenon in urban creeks where there's a lot of stormwater pollution. Here is a bright coho. Definitely pre-spawn. Salmon spend years at sea, then migrate up streams or rivers where they reproduce. But with increased development, more metals, pesticides, and other pollutants are ending up in the runoff from the rain. We at the same rate, we're developing more and more of the upper watersheds. So the, the worry is that we'll start to see this phenomenon further and further into the watershed and into our most important salmon river. So Chum. At this hatchery near the Puget Sound, scientists are exposing salmon to contaminated water to find out exactly what's killing them. They collected runoff from a busy Seattle highway. So we expect all of these fish will be dead by tomorrow, but we may in fact see some mortalities before that, at the four-hour time point. And that's what happens after a few hours. No, no, he's gone. That's gone. To decrease toxicity in the runoff, researchers are also treating the water and testing filtering systems. Well, there's just a bit of mulch on top, but then it's a mix of, I'll let you in, it's a mix of gravel and compost. The result this time, more promising. Well, I've been kicking and wanting out badly. An experiment that could help not just salmon in the Pacific Northwest, but fish in other streams and lakes around the country. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.